respond. Nagabi nga din right. dito for the counter support. Uh, you also mentioned yung mga mag up na laban dito. I don't know, man. Para in the talaga sa sobrang intense medyo naglahod. But okay lang, guys. We are back and we are here to send. This is Grand Sky Esports versus LF Fusion. Game out of three. Yeah, uh, Bambi again on the comfort champion. Makakatapat niya. I see Fade. Formerly of the RE Esports, so talagang um, kumbaga pagdating kasi sa, sa mid lane, Jack of all trades, ang daming champion na available and uh, um, bihasa itong mid laner ng uh, LF Adoption. On the top side though, very very standard, uh, we have the Renekton versus the Fiora being, uh, you know, kumbaga <laughs> tail as old as time yung uh, 1v1 matchup nila sa Baron lane and Yuko, in the Dragon Lane, mukhang nagkamali tayo ng, uh, yeah, nagkamali tayo ng bahagya at mukhang nagdodominate ito sa Demon Kite and si Dragon. Divya lang para sa mga viewers natin. Yung dalawang yan, pagdating sa Synergy, ibang klase talaga. And it looks like we have a solo kill waiting to happen. Flash in from Dante. No. Sila flashes out. In fairness, ah, that was that was way too close. Buti na lang mayroon tayo hundred foot don sa taas. Oh, he's already actually exhausted. Ang kanyang barker as well. Clash just to mention about Boshi that is the BA jump in Vito. Kai Chinese, but they were not able to reach ang forty natin. Elephant adoption. Na kailangan nilang gawin dito. Survive as long as they can. Wait for their AD. So kahit si Fiora to go online and habang naghihintay sila sa kanilang power spike si Kha'Zix muna ang bahala sa pag-ikot dito Tama, kumbaga may itatawi din no? mukhang magkakaroon tayo ng early visit on the top lane here Yuko talagang binubuli nila itong si Estella that is definitely weaker sa Renekton sa early game that is, mukhang buhay pa rin naman si Esela underneath the turret. Good try from Lee Sin, but apparently the gank, wala silang nakuha doon. Grand Sky Esports, <laughs> kaya kaya may pagsabayin sa kanilang katapat. And looking down sa ating Dragon Lane dito, mukhang naging conservative muna si Tactical as well as si Bo. And when it comes to the levels, they are pretty even as well. They're it's a small, small edge dito kay Fade. He is now sitting comfortably on level 5. Habang si Ari, level 5 na lang din. So yung mga mid laners natin, parang ready talaga sa bakbakan. Exactly. Especially yung uh, Ari ni Bambi, di ba? Sino ba makakalimot sa multiple <laughs> games na naipanalo ng Ari nito ni Bambi ko on the mid lane for Grind Sky Esports. At ayaw niya pa ba dito si Fade? Ayaw niya pa reset in. That's actually one of the things that you could do because at three minutes, you would want to reset for a potential four-minute clash. On the top lane though, Tonte is going toe-to-toe -to 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 against kay Isila. Pero pagdating kasi talaga sa mastery sa Fiora, Isila has what it takes. Okay, and uh, on the mid lane, nandito si Fade. Uh, hindi pa siya nagbabuff, and I think that's okay. Kasi Fade wants to go back once the package is already available. And tuloy pa rin yung 1v1 dito ni Tonte and ni Asila. Tonte is already level 5, pwede niyang ipop yung Dominos. But I would understand na hindi niya muna gagamitin yan, especially heading into mm -hmm. a big fight in 30 seconds. Yep. 30 seconds. May steam lang, pero mo ang dalawang team sa atin, they are gonna go all in. We already have the uh, Valkyrie popped out dito kay Fate. At si Bambi, medyo mag-isa muna sa ating Dragon Lane, will try to go toe-to-toe -to -to up against this 2v1. Kasi iba ang plano ng LF Adoption. Bahala ka dyan, kami, maghahanda lang kami para sa unang Rift Herald at sa ating unang Dragon na Mountain Drake, which can provide more shields and more stain para sa... Mukhang hinahabol dito si Bambi. But Bambi was able to flash. Hindi no. actually, hindi niya, hindi niya man lang ginamit yung kanyang flash and yung spirit rush. Mukhang magkakaroon pa ng contest dito sa Dragon Yuko. Yeah, okay. So, Tonte going in and Bo. Ginamit niya yung kanyang hero's entrance for 4v5. And pasok na rin dito si Chianese. Ginamit niya yung kanyang sipa dun sa Corky. That's going to be the first blood heading over to Estella. But... At the end of it all, nakuha pa rin ng LF Adoption yung kanilang Dragon and also Kill Count Advantage. 
Tuloy pa rin ang laban dito. Esela, pinapana pa rin dito na i-tactical. And, yeah, mukhang nagkaroon pa rin ng trade dito sa ating unang game. Grinds kay eSports, prioritizing yung kanilang referent as we head over to the replay. Talagang pinalag pa nila dito. And Bambi, connecting onto the charm, onto the primary target. Hindi naging enough because of the wild growth. And although Bo did actually put out a, a valiant effort mm -hmm. in uh, going for the hero's entrance, hindi pa rin naging enough eh. Okay. So, <laughs> abang hinihintay natin makabalik yung ating partner dito. Grind Sky Esports and Elephant Option. 5 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. Uh, pagdating sa kill count and pagdating sa gold lead nando doon sa Elephant Option, it all now boils down to Grind Sky Esports kung paano nila gagamitin yung kanilang Rift Herald. Remember, Rift Herald is actually being used talaga para makapush ng isang tore. And the first tower is actually one of the biggest gold uh, swing sa larong ito. So, yeah. Kapag nagamit nila ng maayos yan, most likely the gold lead will dissipate and the elephant option will have to scramble for the late game, which is basically their plan here. So far, Grind Sky Esports, again, when it comes to pick potential, nandiyan yung kanilang Ari and kanilang Lee na hindi pa nararamdaman at early stages ng laro. Rift Herald being summoned in the bot lane, mukhang nandito yung pressure. Nandito na rin yung backup and she and he's won. And um, he's going for the ham place here in the bot lane. 250 left on the first tier tower at successfully nakuha yan ng Grand Sky Esports. LF Adoption had no choice. Wala silang wave clear doon. Wala, si, uh, wala si Fade eh. Medyo malayo si Fade at kung mapapansin natin dito sa hero map or sa, sa mini map, nasa taas si Fade habang katapat nga itong si Tonte. Mukhang magkakaroon ng collapse dito kay Bambiko. Bambiko on the bot lane is going to be condemned onto the wall but the hero's entrance is there to provide back up. Nako! Sumag yeah, sumunod pa nga rito. Ate Yuko! Si Bo, that's going to be the buy one take one. Na punta pa kay Demon Kai. Yup, and that is the kill. Side, na bat o yung valiant effort. But now seven minutes in, one and five sa ating scoreboard. Mukang elf adoption. Palong palo dito. Kasi sakit ng palo dito ni Esela. Dito kay Vat. The longer this game goes, pa ati yuko talagang the sweeter it is for for Grand Sky Esports. I mean for LF adoption. That that is going to be true. Yep, that is true. That is going to be the jump. And dito kay ating Renzi. Pero mukhang hindi mo na mag-turret dive dito ang ating LF adoption. Chill na lang muna. It could have been a fight na Grind Sky could have done. Kaso ang naisip ko, one of the reasons why they can't actually jump in is because walang heroes entrance dito si Bo. They do not have a sold initiator kanina sa Dragon Lane. And maybe they're gonna let that go. 25 seconds bago lumabas ang ating grip. Reset coming through. Elif adopt. Yeah, and uh, the dragon will be respawning in 10 seconds. The referral in 4 seconds. Again, when it comes to the late game, Elif Adoption has what it takes. Sigyan natin kung magkakaroon ng handshake deal. Tulad ng nangyari kanina, we could see that on the top lane, Chionese 1 is posturing dito sa may Rift Herald. Habang sa abila naman, ay eh, ito nga, may, may package na rito. At uh, pwede mag-special delivery itong si Fade. Sigyan natin kung paano yung kanyang paggamit. Because that's actually one of the game-changing uh, passive na meron tayo sa laro. Actually, yan lang yung passive na talagang... Uh, Baga, pwede natin sabihin na sobrang OP. So, Fade is here. Talagang kita mo nyo naman yung ginawa dito ni Fade. Ginamit niya yung kanyang carpet bombing just to, uh, just to zone out. Ito si Chiyo's one. But Bo wants harm, wants the piece of LF Adoption here. LF Adoption, though, is with, is here for the comeback. And Fade getting that double kill already. Nalit na rin si Renzi. That's going to be Demon Kai cleaning things up for LF Adoption. Grand Sky Esports scrambling. 1-8 na kagatay dito. 9 minutes into the game. And hindi pa tapos ang LF Adoption. Pasok pa rin sila. Buwabasok pa rin sila ng Torre. Charm's going to connect. However, Demon Kai is so healthy. The last missile barrage is going to connect. Killing spree na kaagad dito si Fade. That is a huge, huge wing swing for LF Adoption. Ate Yuro, LF Adoption comes here with a mission. 
ang gusto talaga nila yung grand final seat that is available for them in the taking looking at the replay kita nyo naman dito Bo tried his best however sobrang scaled up na at hindi naging touch etong si Demon Kite and company remember Vayne is actually very good when it comes to chasing yung kanyang passive kapag ka tumatakbo sa kanya yung kanyang mga kalaban ay mas bumibilas siya so that's definitely one of the uh, one of the calling card na meron dito ang LF Adoption although Charm Connected hindi na rin naging sapat wala na rin talagang damage na available dito at iyo and uh, yeah makikita natin dito LF Adoption is still well in control of this game 10 minutes into the game 5k gold lead para sa nila ha <laughs> Um, ano ang magiging comeback potential dito ng Guardians kay Esports I'm, I'm trying to scramble things for uh, for them a very well placed charm plus a very well placed Dragon's Rage will actually help them pick at least one however when it comes to survivability yung pagiging madulas nandun kasi yan sa lineup ng LF Adoption you can see here that they would target down Isila but Isila was able to buy enough time with that repost Fade is here and Bo Chinese one and Tonte is forced to back away pasok dito si Fade kita natin kung anong mangyayari dito and that is going to be a return kill however the twins is here demon kite and dragon in the back line they want to clean house here and grand sky esports has no chance at all habang si bambi ay nasa taas elf adoption is cleaning things dito sa may bandang ibaba rampage na agad dito yung vein natin na si demon kite kahit sa mga prosy natin we all know that demon kite is very skilled when it comes to vein pinapakita niya dito that this this champion is definitely ban worthy against them. Dito lay pa rin ang laban ng Demon Kite. Look at the procs na kanya mga damage. Pumasok si Bo at huwag na tama ang pasarita ng Rift Herald. The Rift Herald will complete its job which is to take down the, tur the tower here in the bot side. The tower being down means na meron ng super minion sa may bandang ibaba. Fade is in the mid lane trying to just clear things up. And again, Grind Sky Esports Kailangan nilang humahanap ng uh, pick dito, Ate Yuko. Kailangan na kailangan talaga maghanap. Oh. Hinga ka muna dyan, Otto. Oh. Siyado ka kasi excited. Alam ko naman na maganda ang laban dito sa ating Seabot. But 12 minutes in, LF Adoption. They secured 12 kills in their pockets. They also got the first two dragons dito sa ating game. They also have quite the gold lead. Ngayon sila na ang may hawak sa ating mapo na SDB job. And dito kay Renzi, medyo may slowness na sumampal dito kay Tonke. We have... And Wong, 15 seconds to go before the Infernal Dragon spawns out another insult into the injury of Grand Sky Esports. Remember, pagdating sa scaling, talaga lumalamang dito ang LF Adoption. You have the Fiora, you have the Vayne, you also have the Corky, which is another marksman. So this 6% damage, kumbaga, pagdating sa gatas, talagang busog-busog ka dito. And LF Adoption will get this third dragon without contest from Grand Sky Esports. Ate Yuko, talagang uh, this game... Nangangamoy talagang LF Adoption game number one pa lang tayo dito. Yun talaga nangangamoy dito. At same time, Baron is now up. Gabi talaga ang dominance ng map movement dito ng LF Adoption. Grand Sky Esports. Oh, Toulouse, ano sa tingin mo ang dapat gawin ng Grand Sky para makabower at sa pantayan dito ang LF Adoption? Kailangan... Kailangan talaga nilang umanap ng mga picks dito. However, dumadating na talaga sa point na sobrang kunat na rin ng, uh, ng LF Adoption dito na kahit tumama yung charm, kahit tumama yung mga kubaga, pick threat na meron ng Grind Sky Esports, mahihirapan talaga silang pumitas ng kahit na isa. Isama mo pa dyan dito si Dragon. Again, kung meron man magiging pag-asa dito ang Grind Sky Esports, that is for them to wait for LF Adoption to go for a Baron. Kapag ka na damage na sila ng Baron, they could possibly engage and possibly win the team fight here. Again, LF Adoption versus Grind Sky Esports. Ang tindi ng laman na ito. But so far, LF Adoption is doing everything na meron sila sa kanilang notebook. Chinese one will find Isila. However, Isila flashes away. Finally, a pick is going to be there. Stasis is going to buy enough time. 
And although napitas nila dito si Estela, Demon Kite is still free hitting everyone from LF Adoption. Nandito na si Chiyonizu 1. The hero's entrance will be used. However, this Demon Kite is still alive. Nawala na yung kanyang final hour. Pero yung mga silver bullets niya is still online. Bambi trying to escape. The condemn onto the wall will connect and fade. Will clean things for LF Adoption. Buhay pa naman si Tactical dito. However... Yeah, LF Adoption is still well in control in this game. 3-14 tayo. Homage sa Pai. And Demon Kite wants blood. We'll find tactical here. Oh, Natanggal na tactical. agad yung Edge of Night. Trampage na agad dito. Pare. Ayun na nga. Ayun na nga. No? Napaka-init. Eagle 1. Eagle 1. Mabilis pa sa Alice 4. Ang, kaba ang bakbakan dito. Pero baron ka agad. Nandidiretso ay nakapat ng membro dito ng... Uh, LF Adoption Kumbaga uh, from Adoption Naging Adoption Pero siguradong mapawaward up At sinubukan sumipa Pero the isolation kill Na makukuha nila para dito sa Baron At sigurado mapapaalis na nga lang si Tonte Na para si Baron Geisler Guys, sobrang hustler Ng galawan ng Adoption dito Na para bang ibang tao Itong pinapanood natin Grabe 316 Ganun kabilis yung mga pangyayari Nakakagulat no? So big big shoutout sa ating mga viewers Right now, itong pinapanood nyo is the Grind Sky Esports versus LF Adoption. Ito na, ipapakig sa dito si Eda, pero mukhang mapapatumpa pa nila yung arib ng bahagya. Pero hindi sapat, pero mukhang sapat pa rin para makuha ang ikalaman tori dito. At uh, yan, o, oh, oh, sige, bigyan nyo, bigyan nyo muna. Chill na, chill okay, na muna yeah. tayo, they already got the objective. Ka? Kaya, hindi na kita nakubusta, pare. Ang hindi. Mainit. Mainit masyado. Itong pinapakita ng LF Adoption. And storyline-wise, no? Napakaganda ng adventure nila. Ibang-iba compared dito sa mga teams natin. Yeah. Oh, teka muna. Sige, Kuya Osay. Uh, ayan, uh, Kuya Otolus, kung titignan mo, no, yung pagkakahati sa mapa. Dito, magaling si Isila. Pero ito na si Demon Kai. Nakalimutan nyo na yata na ako ang vain. They are dying in vain. Itong Demon Kai naging Demon Slayer. And uh, 